Who is responsible for the evolution of Jiu-Jitsu? The answer is the new generation, of which Osvaldo Queixinho Moizinho is a member. A competitor and teacher at Coyotejas Gym in San Jose, California, he's one of the young black belts driving the game forward right now. He's known for using techniques that combine elements of the De La Hiva guard, lapel control, inverting, leg attacks, and more. This is modern jiu-jitsu, and if you want to see how the art is developing, keep watching. My name is Osvaldo Moizinho, uh, people know me as uh, Kishinho, it's my nickname. I got promoted from Soulfires, Tanquinho, Formiga, Tattoo and Tank. Today I train and teach with Caio Terra in San Jose, California. Train with Caio, Samir, Flavio, Milton. I like to teach but my life is complete and I love complete. It's more than everything. Yeah, it's, it's always good to be a champion. <laughs> I really like the adrenaline when you step on the mat and feel like everybody is watching your fight. See, when I started, I learned a lot of basic and a little bit of the old, old jiu-jitsu, the old school. You, you cannot just forget. Since you learn and you put in your game, you're gonna use this forever, you know, for your life. Basic steps like close guard, you know, you, I see you using and it's still working. And I'm not gonna stop doing that. If I have the opportunity to try to submit or try to sweep from there and use that position, I, I will. Today it's more common. We use a little bit more like open guard, half guard, you know, Tela Riva, any guard, and you know, try always submit and finish the fight. Since I, tra I started training with Kyle, I started to see something totally different ever seen before. So I'm starting to learn different style, different techniques. It was always fun to roll with him and you can learn. And Samir too, I, I learned a lot of Samir. With one of us, ah, I saw the pos the, the, this position here, let me show you guys. And we started talking about and trying to do variations and transition from that position and then we started to develop new techniques or new styles, you know. I started, I see first, the first time I saw in the Comprinius DVD something with the lapel and then I watched a brown belt doing this lapel style and I started to develop my game with the lapel, you know. Bem à vontade da Dela Riva, tá? Às vezes a gente cansa muito de ficar na Dela Riva aqui assim, porque o cara tá o tempo todo aqui matando teu joelho, e te, e te incomodando, tirando teu gancho. Quando eu fico nessa posição, eu fico mais confortável. Aqui eu tô fazendo força nenhuma pra minha perna aqui, tá? Minha perna tá relaxada, então o tempo todo eu posso voltar. Ele tira meu gancho, tira aqui o gancho. Aí eu vou lá, ó. Desequilibro ele e volto meu gancho. Porque ele tira aí é meu gancho, eu já tô com a tela aqui, certo? Eu vou pôr um aqui. Quando ele começa a girar, tá? Eu laço meu próprio pé, tá? E entrega essa tela aqui, por cima. Olha como é que quando eu giro, eu trago meu joelho pra dentro, tá? Aí eu vou dar esse, esse, esse desequilíbrio nele aqui, ó, com a minha perna de fora. Eu vou usar um desses momentos, que ele vai fazer postura, eu jogo ele de frente, ele vai e volta. Quando ele volta, eu vou trazer essa perna pra trás, ó. Eu vou dar essa pressão aqui, ó. E aí, ó. I'm Felipe Costa, Black Belt World Champion. I've been traveling the world, teaching Jiu Jitsu for over 10 years. Experience my Jiu Jitsu, learn in a structured and effective way. Visit BrazilianBlackBelt.com. I think you have, everybody in Jiu Jitsu has to learn everything. But for me, in my opinion, you have to learn the basic first, the basic stuff. For example, you have to know De La Riva before 
you know Billy Ball. You cannot just jump, uh, skip and go straight to Billy Ball. I always try everything, top, bottom, half guard, deep half guard, you know, De La Riva, I always try everything. You know, if I saw something different in my gym, I'm, I'm going to try do to most of these techniques I'm doing now. I learned watching and with my friends and with the competitions, like I said, and I, I always try putting practice to see if it works or not. Never say, ah, I'm not gonna do this technique anymore. Because I think when you, when you think you stop, you just give up. Yeah. Keep trying. learn more watching fights than everything people have to look for tournaments and watching the fights is really good. I still learn with purple blue belt. A lot of times I have real tournaments and I saw some techniques in it. Oh nice like blue belts doing techniques I never seen before you know nice technique and I'm gonna work on that. I would, I would say for you guys to to try to watch Spend some time in tournaments, watching in YouTube, watching some fights, and try to, to learn a little bit more of the modern Jiu Jitsu. Make sure to check out the other videos from this episode. BJJ Hacks TV. Subscribe now for free Jiu Jitsu videos. Get the, get the.